Uh, best of luck with now with that. Sorry. Now, have you seen the viral videos online, which millions of people are finding soothing? Yes. Yeah, so these videos uh, show glass bottles smashing as they roll down solid steps which is relaxing to some and it can even help people fall asleep. Now, the bottle smashing videos are just one example of ASMR, which I've just found out it's actually not ASMR. Isn't that right, girls? Yeah, that's right. Am I right in saying <laughs> You're that? Right. OK, but we are now joined by psychologist Sarah Worley uh, alongside Emma Smith, who creates ASMR videos for her Whispering Red YouTube channel. Morning, Morning to both of you. Thank you for Good joining morning. us. So those bottle smashings, which are, I find actually quite stressful, yeah. it's, it's nothing to do with ASMR. It's yeah, not. No. They're, <laughs> yeah, they're under the bandwagon of ASMR, but they're not. I mean, they're stimulatory uh, videos, but they're not actually. So they, they probably hashtag it just so they get yes. more views. Yes. Okay. So I'm explain kidding. what ASMR actually is then. So it stands for Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response, which is quite a mouthful. Um, what it really means, uh, sort of brain tingles, a little tingling feeling that you kind of get normally in your head, going down your neck, your spine, sometimes as far as your limbs, and then it leaves you feeling a sense of well-being, a sense of calmness. It actually calms the system down. And how does it work then? What sort of things do, yeah. do they use? So, it's interesting. It tends to be audiovisual stimuli or it can be tactile stimuli. Um, and I think the thing that's important is that it's always been around. I think what's happened is that we're now figuring out, I think, via YouTube, via TikTok, how you can actually uh, stimulate it in people. Um, but, you know, there have been different studies done on what it actually is. And there was one done in 2017 that showed the physiological effects of it and your heart rate calms down. So they've shown this on a, a sample of 130 people. It calms down, I think it's about 3.2 beats per minute, which is like mindfulness meditation. It's wow. a similar calming effect. So is this basically if someone likes listening to a rainstorm outside or a cat purring or... Is that basically the same thing as so what we're talking about similar. here? Yeah, similar. Um, I think what's different about ASMR is it... Generally, it involves somebody giving you very personal, kind, unconditional attention in a really caring, really gentle way. So a lot of the videos that you look at are people pretty close to the camera, sounding like they're right next to you, um, you know, giving you this sort of stimulatory response. And again, if you sort of look at... They've done one study of uh, MRIs of the brain when people are experiencing ASMR, and they've shown two areas light up, and one of them is to do with social connection. That's why I'm saying I don't think the bottles are that. It's to do with social connection. And the other one is to do with tactile response. So we think it's more like um, experiences you would have had as a child with your parents, maybe oh. doing your back or your head, or maybe oh. a best friend whispering in your ear. So does it, does it need to come from another person rather than an inanimate object to be classified? I'll leave you to answer that. I, I would say so because when we play sound, if you like, our intention comes through that sound. Yeah. So if I've got something that's one of the, the triggers, we call them, on the table, if I was to, you know, smash it really hard, that would be anger coming through. But yeah. if I do it very gently and very calmly, that's nurturing coming through. Gotcha. And Emma, you've got your own YouTube channel that's doing really, really well. But you was introduced to this literally from a car accident. Is that right? Yeah, so I got run over and, and had PTSD afterwards. Gotcha. Loads of operations, all sorts going on. And um, I, I just couldn't sleep. Um, I didn't go for therapy because I didn't think there was anything wrong with me. So I started looking for videos that would help me to go to sleep. So I found uh, whisper videos that they were called then, because the ASMR term was coined, you know, not yeah. really that long ago. I've had my channel for 10 years this week. And, um, yeah, I just found that I was falling asleep to these videos. I felt a connection with the person that was making them, and it was a very small community. So I got involved in the community nice and um, it, was, it was like having a social media account. It was well, just being friends with everyone. Happy anniversary, 10 years. Yeah, Happy thanks. Birthday. That's great. Congratulations. Just reading here, 82% of people who watch ASMR use it specifically as a sleep aid. Mm -hmm. that yeah, that's, that's all the Google searches peak at around 10.30 at night. And it can just help people completely nod off to sleep. It happened to my daughter the other night. She said she just happened to see a TikTok thing and literally just sort of fell asleep. What was it? Do you mind me asking? What was the... I don't know exactly what the video was that she saw. I don't know exactly. But it would have been one of those calm, nurturing... Sometimes you're looking at videos of people doing somebody else's hair or maybe touching their back. But with all of it, it is this kind of unconditional, gentle, calming, positive presence. And I just... I think there's an evolutionary need for it. I mean, if we look at 
grooming in primates. That's what it is. That's mm -hmm. how they create bonds and social cohesion. And I just... I have a feeling that, you know, today we're more connected than ever before, but actually we're really not. It's all through no. a screen, right? We're not really connecting. So that's the question. So do you think we had this and now we've lost it in the modern age and this yeah. is kind of a, a way of getting it back? Yeah, that's, that's 100% that's yeah. what I think is going on. 100%. Mm. And I think people misunderstand it as well. Um, and yeah, there's some of... misconceptions yes. around it being a sexual thing, that's but it really is not that, is it? It's not. It's maternal. It's yeah. harming. It, we were saying maybe we should rechristen it. What was it again? Uh, motherly... A autonomous sensory maternal, maternal response. response. Maybe that's what it should yeah. be rechristened. Because well, it's... in a video, I'll be giving a facial, yeah. giving some kind of a treatment, and because you're you're watching it and you're detached a little bit from the situation, if, if you've perhaps got social um, anxieties, you can feel like it's happening to you, but you're not actually having to be there as well. I mean, oh, that must, that we must do be quite do, frustrating. We do yeah. do treatments okay, sexual on undertones well. thing when, it, when it's not that at all. Oh, I've had that for years. Have you? Yeah. yeah. Well, we're very privileged to have you in our presence, obviously, and we would like to be mothered now. Could you show us some <laughs> of the things that you actually use? Yeah. So these are a few of the sounds. Yeah. So usually these sounds would be within some kind of a theme. So I'd be doing something like uh, anything nurturing, really, or even recreating a a situation in real life, life, like a dentist appointment or a doctor's appointment, something like that. In fact, people use the videos. If they're scared of the dentist, they'll watch A Kind Dentist. Wow. Yeah, it's just your voice is, is just... I mean, it's like someone's, like, <laughs> pouring honey in my yeah. ear. Well, I'm not speaking quite, quite loud use. now. <laughs> Where, what what, what should we do? So what are we going to do first? So we should put our way. headphones on now. Well, would you like to try these first, actually? Oh, yes. Yeah. I love these. So, people... So ASMR is a is a feeling. It's um it's a phys a physical <laughs> sensation <laughs> like tingles. Oh. And if you don't experience it, because not everybody does, mm -hmm. then this oh. is a really good way oh. to explain I mean, how it. Oh, I love it. I think I'm definitely. <gasps> experiencing but if you do something. experience oh. it, then this gives you tingles. That's and probably I'm... better if someone else did this on you. Oh yeah, oh. that would be oh, better. Yeah. Do it on each other. Down, down, down. I think that's love better. It. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Amazing, I could do yeah. this all day. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Amazing. So like grooming, yeah, it's, it's back to grooming. Oh, in, in the it. nice sense of the word. Grooming. Yeah. Primate, Primate grooming. grooming. Primate grooming. Yeah, so, so should we put our headphones, headphones on? on yeah. yeah, so we can listen to your voice. I'm going to take my earpiece out. Yeah. I've had enough of them. Oh, the cacophony in there. I've had enough of them. Stop. Let's take them off. Oh, oh, is it oh nice? the dream. <laughs> <laughs> it's so oh, lovely. Oh, sorry, Barry. OK, let's put our headphones on. Oh, my headphones are broke. What's happening now? Are you all right, Mum? Oh, thank you. Okay, so what are you going to do then? What's happening now? Hang on, I'm going to get all my bits and bobs. Get on that microphone. Yeah. Go on. Oh, do... I can hear you. Yeah. We have Should no we idea... close our eyes? No idea how long this item's supposed to be, by the way. We've got a floor manager. They'll let us know. So, I usually start off by whispering very quietly and um, touching the ears like this and tell you how beautiful you are. Oh. Right. Because you are. And then we have these brushes. And I can brush your ear. Oh. It's very relaxing, isn't it? Very slowly. It's a tingle. What are you thinking? Just relaxed? Yeah. Are you relaxed? The microphones are very sensitive. Brush. Lovely. No need to rush. I like it, I do. It's relaxing me out. Yeah, the brush was nice. Mm. What's next? What else you got in your bag? Like nostalgic Maracas. tingles here. Oh, okay. that's nice. Nice. Do you remember? Oh, that's nice. That's marbles nice, isn't it? Yeah. And the marbles. What's that? Oh, no, that so this is just really relaxing. This is what puts people to sleep. Yeah. So do then they carry on watching your YouTube channel and then obviously that's how you get, like, minted? <laughs> <laughs> what she wants to know is, how do you make the dollar in all of this? Literally, if you think about it, the like they, they, the they fall asleep and then they carry on watching your videos and that's hours and hours. They, the, You're the, killing the, it, ain't you? The biggest, <laughs> the biggest compliment is when people say, as soon as you start talking, I fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> that is brilliant. <laughs> but, but I didn't know that you could... When I first started making videos, I didn't know that you could monetize 
your channel. I didn't know anything about that. So what happened? Watched... Did someone tell you how to do it? Well, the, the, the community kind of grew and then, and then, you know, more people started doing it and, and then the press started talking about it because it looks a bit weird. You know. And so do you have like conferences now and stuff? Like do you guys hook up and I do live events all yeah, over brilliant. the place. That's I was amazing. in Australia just before. Good for the, you, um... Emma. Yeah. yeah. Good for you. And thank you for introducing us to ASMR. I'm loving it. <laughs> Thanks, thank Sarah. you so much. Thank Sarah. Yeah, thank you. you're welcome. Oh, thank you. Brilliant. I enjoyed it. It's great because we were quite stressed out by those bottles and now I feel totally jealous. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Let's not play any more of that footage no. whatsoever. <laughs> Still to come. <laughs>